Hello, Divine Collective. Welcome or welcome back to my channel, Divine Goddess Enlightenment. I'm Ashley, and I am here with some cosmic downloads for you guys. As you tap in, don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already. Make yourself at home. Hit the bell so you can be notified every time I drop a read. I hope you guys are having a fabulous afternoon. I'm doing well. The link to my self-published poetry book, The Unpolished Diamond, will be in the description as well as the About section. I would like to take this time out to thank all my new subscribers. Welcome. Thank you to my day ones. You guys have have been nothing short of amazing and i truly appreciate every single last one of you so you guys we're gonna tap into the vibes here um this is the energy you have a mind of a multi-millionaire and you were destined and created to be become a boss okay um like spirit is saying you you, the ideas you generate are very abundant, are very major. You generate a lot of million dollar ideas and this is not by mistake, okay? Um, God designed you uh, the way you are. You were, you reincarnated back to this realm with certain, um, with a certain level of intelligence because of your mission and your purpose. It has a lot to do with you becoming very wealthy, with you becoming um, like a motivational, inspirational teacher and leading and also leading a legacy. You are, you are, as a chosen one, your ancestors chose you to lead the legacy, okay? You, they have passed you the torch, okay? It's, it's you, you guys are always designed and created to like rule, to be royal rulers, royal leaders, okay? You come from a long line of very intellect, like intellects intellectual spiritual teachers high priestess okay um higher fence hermits okay is what i'm getting here it's uh like you're very you're very intellectual and you have a very sharp brain spirit is saying you have a sharp tongue too okay so you could be a libra gemini aquarius energy like not only are you very intellectual and you have a very sharp brain it's like like you you have like your brain operate and function on an abnormal level. But what I'm saying, like with you having this sharp brain and like this sharp tongue, it's like when people, it's like with you, you don't always have to like cuss someone out to really put them in a place. With you being very uh, intellectual as you are, you be putting people in a place with like with facts, okay? Um it's like some people may think that you're very sarcastic, okay? Um, it's, it's just you you have a sharp tongue, all right? You're very witty, Queen of Wands energy. You're very witty, okay? Um, and this is because you're very intellectual. You're very, you have a lot of knowledge. You're very wise, okay? And you, it's like the you, your brain, it functions at, at, at an abnormal level. It doesn't function like a normal human being because you are that of a God and the type of wisdom and, and cosmic intelligence you possess can't be found in a book. This is cosmic intelligence that you've reincarnated like from previous lifetimes. You've always been like this, I'm getting a wise educator. For someone here, that is like a part of your purpose um, is to be like a wise educator, to educate your soul tribe, to educate your community, to um, open people up to um, the world, like to different perspective, perceptions, okay? Different ways of thinking, different, different perspectives, okay? Um, you guys, I picked up on angel number 333, all right? As I was shuffling, this landed on the top. All right. And you're seeing this number. We're going to tap into this number because this has a lot to do with your soul's mission, your purpose. This has a lot to do with um, like different creative projects you are working on at this time. As you can see, I have my angel notebook, you guys. I, I hope you guys took heed. I remember telling you guys on a few occasions to get a notebook. It could be any type of notebook. This is my notebook guys, it's a pretty little thoughts, okay? Get any type of notebook and log your um, synchronicities. I just seen 444, bro. <laughs> like that, this is uh, an angelic sign for you to, so you could um, document your the synchronicities, document uh, the angel numbers you are seeing. How are you feeling? 
Where are you? What location are you in? Who's around you when you see this number? Okay, what song is playing? Like, what emotions are you feeling? This is all a sign. It's all a part of the cosmic message and download that spirit is trying to get to you. So, angel number 333, uh, the number three symbolizes creativity, imagination, and an increase in abundance, okay? So, as I said, for a lot of you uh, chosen ones, you guys are really... Like you were born very creative and you, like I said, you just have a lot of abundant, major million dollar ideas. Um, you could be, I'm getting crafts. Someone, you could uh, be into DIY, like you create crafts. You're very artsy, okay? I'm getting, um, you're just working on different projects. You guys have are tapping in more to your creative side and you are realizing that you have been sitting on gifts and abilities that can really um, accumulate a lot of wealth for you because like these are natural God-given gifts and abilities, okay? So um, it's God never meant for you to sit on these gifts and abilities he gave you. This is, you got this, this intelligence. You got the creativity to generate wealth, okay? You're a wealth you're someone here to accumulate a lot of a lot of wealth. Okay, so I'm getting you like you could be an artist for someone here. I'm getting you. You're into arts and crafts. Like you could be create DIY. You may sell on Etsy. I'm picking up on candle maker. Okay, you're very creative. Whatever aspect this is that you create. You're being guided to really turn your habits and your passions into a, into business. Okay, and to um. Because this is going to prove to bring you a lot of success. And with imagination, I'm picking up on someone here um, that's highly intuitive. A lot of you have are very gifted and have highly intuitive gifts that you're, if you're not already operating in these gifts, okay, and um, starting some type of platform or bringing in some, uh, like starting a business surrounding your spiritual gifts, you're being guided to do this. This is why God has blessed you with these many gifts, talents, and abilities, Okay. Um, like, it's like you have your, you, it's like your, your subconscious, your mind is not stuck in a box. So you have the ability to dream big. You have the ability to see things before you even create them, before they even, you even manifest. You've always been a big thinker. You think on a larger scale, larger than a normal person because your mind isn't stuck in a box. Okay. You're able to think beyond this realm. You're, at, you're able to think beyond your physical circumstances, okay? Your imagination and your creativity is what's going to bring in a lot, a, a lot of abundance, increase your abundance. This creativity and your imagination is, uh, is very powerful, okay? I'm picking up on a very powerful creator, Okay, you're a creator. Okay, uh, you could be a content creator. You don't have to be. I'm really picking up on like uh, uh, arts and crafts. Like you could even make baskets. You could be someone that sew. You could crochet. Okay, it's something you do. Even if you're a makeup artist, some type of artist, you could be a nail tech. Whatever. It don't even have to be spiritual. Everything you do don't have to be spiritual. You just have this business mindset. You have this millionaire mindset. And you're being guided to cultivate this. You're being guided to add, um, to incorporate uh, millionaire habits into your daily life. And you guys, upon me doing this, it's like I see my own life shifting. Like I operate. This is why I I be I'm alone a lot because I'm really. Uh, redefining and reinventing who I am as a multi-millionaire billionaire, and I think like this. I, I, uh, I'm, I'm big on planners. I'm big on to-do lists. I'm big on scheduling my day. I'm big on morning routines. And you could be someone like this as well, or if not, you're being guided to tap into a more productive side of yourself. Because if you really know you chosen and you're destined to be in a certain position. It will be very wise for you to prepare. It will, it's like spirit wants you to operate as this millionaire, this billionaire already. All right. And as I do this, you guys, I see it's like I feel like I'm a billionaire every day. I see the changes. I see the things I want coming into my reality, indicating that it's on its way, indicating I'm in the right frequency. I'm in alignment. Okay. 
And if you're seeing 333, this is indicating alignment. This is indicating you tapping into your creative abilities, okay? Because when you see 333, is indicating an increase in wealth. Someone here, you started some type of business, some type of platform, um, uh, some type of, you, you have some type of skill that you have been improving or you've, you've been cultivating, and this is going to prove to be very successful and abundant for you, okay? 333 also indicates mind, body, and spirit coming into alignment, okay? This is uh, the universe is indicating you are coming into alignment uh, it's, it may be a need for you to like come into alignment with mind, body, and spirit because our mind, body, and spirit, although they're different, they're all connected and it's a need for you to come into alignment. It's also a need for you to come into alignment with your purpose, come into alignment with um, with your goals, your aspirations, okay? What you are here to do in regards to leading this legacy, in regards to to build in million million dollar empire, uh, multi million dollar businesses. Okay, it's like like I said, you have a, a a mind of a millionaire. You have a very sharp brain. You have your your uh, intellect. This is why people don't think like this. I, I ask myself, people don't think like this. Okay, people really, you know, some people can't can't think past a certain level because they have been conditioned and brainwashed. But as someone as yourself that has been awakened, you see that it's no limits. It's no limits with you being a co-creator and you deliberately creating your own reality. You could create whatever the fuck you want. It's no limit for you. The, the world is yours, literally. Scarface energy. <laughs> that could be your favorite movie. Okay, you could love uh, watching Scarface. That's my favorite gangster movie, y'all. That that's my first favorite gangster movie. My second one is Goodfellas. Okay, so those could be highly significant here. All right, I'm getting someone. You're manifesting a mansion like Scarface. You're. It's like, bro, you're about to live this type of lifestyle. Not like how Scarface, how he was a gangster, killing people and shit, selling drugs. No, but you're doing it on a corporate level. You're doing this by cultivating and building businesses. That small business that you're working on, that small business you're operating, the more you put into it, the more energy you put into it, it is going to blossom into a billion dollar company. That's for someone specific here. Okay. Keep going at it. Everyone starts small. I started small. I started from nothing. I started from not even knowing who the hell I was to uh, writing books and creating podcasts, creating this YouTube channel, tapping into my gifts and my abilities and my intuition. You know, it's been it's been great. And dude, I just want y'all to know you're you're limitless, bro. You ain't got no limits. Sky not even a limit for you. You're it's no limits. It's infinite uh, uh possibilities for you here. Okay, so it's also with I just seen thirteen thirteen, bro. <laughs> so also with um Angel number number three is signa is uh signifying. Hold on, it signifies something that needs to be brought into balance. And like I was saying, with mind, body, spirit. Although these are three separate entities or energies, however you want to put it, uh, they're all connected. So for someone here specific, it's a need for you to bring your mind, body, and spirit into alignment. Okay, um, it's also. Uh, a number indicating angels are providing support, stability, and balance. The angels are helping you to cultivate uh, your creativity, your imagination, and bring it, providing support and your uh, your endeavors and stability within your finances and balance within your situation to uh, in order to increase, like for this major increase in your abundance to manifest. Okay. You may be a left light path uh number three. Okay. That's highly significant. Light paths number number threes are very creative. Okay, very creative individuals. And I'm really picking up on someone. You may have a few projects you're working on. You're someone like myself. But I, I had to like, if you like me. And it's like when you get ideas, you get so passionate about it. You want to work on this. You want to work on that. You want to work on that. Y'all, I'm the same way. It's like 
three different, four different things I'm working on, but I have to take a step back because when you like giving your energy to different projects, it's kind of hard to uh, pinpoint, point, you know what I'm saying? Like what I'm saying is it's a good idea to really focus on one project, focus on creating one uh, creative project because you're able to fully give your all to this one project. You're able to really give your full energy and attention, whereas you're sporadically, you're spreading it out from, you're spreading it out from this project, that project. All right. It's just a lot. Like I'd be so excited though. I I'd be having to tell myself like, okay, one at a time. Cause I get so many ideas and I start to, it's like, uh, when I get an idea, I hop right on it. This is something I learned from watching a millionaire a couple of years ago. It's, I forgot it. His name is a, a, a multi-millionaire that teaches, you know, about productivity, business, uh, becoming successful. And one thing he said is, um, one thing he said is when you get a good idea, like write it down and instantly like start to cultivate it, start to uh, build it. Okay. Start to create. It's like really good. Like what they got do that I learned from the multi millionaire too, y'all. I just see 16, 16. I carry around notebooks. Okay. I carry around notebooks because I be getting a lot of downloads. Y'all, that's why I have to write shit down. I'm a writer, y'all. I have the consciousness of thought. This is why I write books effortlessly. And I got to carry notebooks with me all the time because I'm always getting synchronicities. I'm always getting downloads. I'm always getting like ideas. And I I always, you know, I have to write these things, these things down. You're being guided. So when you get an idea, don't just sit on it. Don't just say, oh, that's nice. And don't act on it. When you get a good ass idea, write it down and begin to take the steps to, um, to bring it into light, to bring it into fruition. If you are not someone that regularly regularly writes down goals, you're being guided to do to do this because like the reason like writing writing itself is very powerful. When you write down a goal, it's like it's like it makes it real. It's something very magical about writing your goals on paper. Okay, because you're making it real. You're it's like a declaration, okay? And um, especially if you're in you're in sync with the universe. When you're writing, the universe knows. You know, the universe goes on, on vibration. That's why, in order to really manifest and like manifest the life you want and to like accomplish your dreams, if you are destined to become this multi-millionaire billionaire, you have to already be on that frequency and exuding that energy. Okay, because this is gonna bring circumstances and people and different uh opportunities on your path that's going to help you to get there all right um but yeah so i also have like infinite intelligence okay your intelligence like i say it doesn't come from any books okay you are someone like myself that has realized all this shit we was taught in school was bullshit it was bullshit okay you smarter than your teachers. You hold way more uh, knowledge and wisdom than, than the motherfuckers that thought they was teaching you some shit. And you could be someone like when you were in school, you just felt your spirit just felt like this shit is fake, bro. Like, I don't you never resonated with school because your soul know who you really are. And like you've always been very advanced. You could have been good in school, you know, very, you know, you, you got shit. You're a fast learner. Okay. You learn things on one take. You could have been very good at school, but you didn't, you didn't resonate with it. All right. You have infinite intelligence, this infinite intelligence you have, you have intelligence that never end. Okay. This it's infinite intelligence you have is attracting infinite abundance. All right. As you being a ruler, someone that your ancestors chose to uh, lead this empire, lead this legacy, you are meant to attract infinite abundance. Your ancestors were very wealthy, all right? And you're inheriting a lot of wealth, all this wealth from your ancestors, okay? Um, I'm also getting... Like I said, you're very intelligent. It's like some people may become like intimidated by how knowledgeable you are and like how 
like how you, you think you don't think like the normal average motherfucker. Okay, you you're very your your mind is very sharp. Okay, your mind is very sharp. People can't seem to like get how do you think on a level you think you don't think like an average human being or a human being at all. Okay. Uh, I also get that, like I said, your brain operate and function on a, a different level than normal people, all right? Um, and Spirit is saying, you don't think like normal people. It's like you have superhuman intelligence. And people really become shocked at, by how intelligent you actually are. Because as a child, you were kind of forced to hide your greatness. You were kind of forced just to um, not say anything or just, you know, uh, not exude who you really are. Um, because if you have motherfuckers that didn't want people to know who you truly are. So if for a long time in your childhood, you really had to suppress who you really are. That's why now that you're in your power, people are really like, they are really like shocked to know that you're very wise. You're very wise for your age as well. And you have the superhuman intelligence. Okay. And I also get, this is why it's chosen ones. A lot of us was experimenting on. Okay. Because we always were highly advanced in school, even just in life period. You were always highly advanced. You were, you just, Thank you, Spirit Confirmation. You were just advanced on a different type of level that that had that got the attention of your family members, that got the attention of the government, higher ups, the doctors and shit like that. They like, what the hell? Like, how does baby like I'm being sarcastic when I say this, y'all? I'm being extra, but like, how does baby uh four years old and could um, do multiplication or could divide. Someone here, shit, you probably was that smart. But, you know, it was just, you was doing things at a very advanced level. And this is why, as chosen ones, a lot of, they did experiment on us. Our blood, I'm getting something about blood experimentation as well, okay? Because we were highly advanced. And like I said, you were always forced to hold back your your, your gifts, your greatness, because motherfuckers ain't want people to know two, 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 who you really are. Okay. Um, Spirit is saying you have been created to be a ruler, someone very wealthy, someone uh, designed to accumulate the riches and the treasures of your ancestry, blood, ancestry bloodline. Okay. So we got to tap in here. But yeah, I'm also getting like. Uh, uh, I'm picking up on someone, dude, you're very focused and organized like myself. You could be like someone that has, it's like, bro, I'm picking up on someone. You could be like me. Like you have a notebook for everything, bro. I, I have like fucking 10 notebooks that I all use for different things. Okay. I got an angel notebook. I got a book of shadows. I got my book. I write my, um, my downloads in, uh, I got a notebook. Uh, that I write because I take different online courses, uh, you know, to enhance my knowledge or it's just I, the courses I'm taking is like um, business courses and like just, you know, to gain more knowledge on different skills and subjects in order to expand here. So I have a book where um, it's just like when I take online courses, you know, I jot down my notes or whatever. I just have books for everything, bro. You could be the same. You're, you just, it's just, you're very, you love to learn. You love to teach. That's why you're so wise. Okay. And, uh, it's crazy. Cause it'd it be people trying to like, I don't know people, the world don't read, bro. Motherfuckers don't read. That's why people be stuck in the same fucking mentality. It'd be people that, uh, try to down people that read like, uh, well, I, I don't gotta read. I, I get my gifts from source woo woo. Yeah, yeah, we all do. But why do do you think books were created? And it's authors like myself that uh that writes books because you are in school. I mean, I said school. Earth is a school for your soul. You are here to accumulate and learn as much as possible. It don't matter how smart or invested you is, because I'm very intellectual and intelligent. You know what I'm saying? But only a smart motherfucker will really um, cultivate and enhance their knowledge. 
I'm not just going to not read because I feel like I know everything. Only a fool feel, feel, walk around feeling like they know every fucking thing. I really don't understand people that don't read. It's like your mentality, your subconscious, your brain is just stuck on one thing. You're not expanding. You're not expanding your consciousness or your knowledge here. Okay? So I don't know. Um, I also read that uh, millionaires read 60 books a year. Like last year, y'all, I feel bad because I be writing down like how, uh, like the books I finished, like, and last year I only read 20 books in a year. So I'm like, damn, <laughs> like, you know, but millionaires, they read 60 books a year, uh, 60 books in a year. And I think they said that's a book a week. Like they read, a, they f complete a book every week. That's all multi-millionaires and billionaires do is read. So only an intellectual person will tell you that, or tell you that it's very wise to enhance and cultivate and add on to what you already know. This is how you beat your competitors. This is how you subconsciously level up. Because like I said, it's people that feel like, oh, I, I, I know this. I ain't got to read this. You're, you're just going to stay stuck in a small box. You're never going to expand your consciousness at all. I have the consciousness of thought. This is why I could write a book in like two weeks. Like it's just natural to me. And successful people read. Uh, teachers read. Teachers are forever and always learning new concepts, new skills, new abilities. That's big facts. Okay. So uh, you, you may be someone I read a lot or your ancestors may be urging you and guiding you to really expand your mind. Okay. It's nothing wrong with picking up a book and adding on to what you already know. That's how you out you outsmart and outdo your competitors. Cause your competitors not reading. Shit, I know it's motherfuckers competing with me that don't even fucking read. Probably can't even read. Okay. It's life is way bigger than just a, a one track mind mentality. All right. <laughs> so um I'm also being guided like your ancestors. Your spirit guides really want you to start to consume more positive content, okay? Because as you being chosen to be in this, you know, this position of a teacher and running different empires and things, it's a, it's a, you're manifesting your reality at the time. So it's very important that you consume like more uplifting, positive, uh, encouraging content okay um because content and media has a major effect on your reality and your manifestations if you're someone manifesting uh let's say you're manifesting a life of success just you know a life of success luxury a life of abundance you don't want to be listening to, to things that's going to discourage you or listening to things that's going to uh, bring down your vibration because you have to always be vibrating on the energy of that that you want to manifest, okay? Um, and this is something I do, you know? Um, like, it's probably one reader I really listen to that I really resonate with. Uh, I'm going to tell y'all, I like Empress Bella. I, that's who I, I fuck with Empress Bella. And... um. But the rest of the things, like I really, I don't watch a lot of, I don't watch a lot of readers. I may click on a reader content and, you know, I find myself clicking off a lot of these readers, you know what I'm saying? Because I probably, I don't resonate with it. I probably already know the shit they talking about, or it is, I probably feel like I don't want to hear no karmic ass shit. I don't want to hear, you know, I, I got to keep. I have to feed and consume my reality with uplifting, motivational things. And even if I do listen to a reader like Empress Bella, she's very educational. Y'all go check her out if you haven't. I, I like her channel. You know, not only like do she, you know, she tap into shit, you also can learn, you know what I'm saying, from watching her. So I really don't even watch tarot like that, y'all, to be honest. You want to know what I watch? I be I share it with y'all every day. I listen to audio books on raising my frequency, attracting uh like vibration shit like that. 
Um, I listen to a lot of motivational speakers. I listen to a lot of people I feel that I resonate with that's like myself, that speak on real shit, okay? I uh, take online courses. I listen to audio books. I listen to podcasts, productive, motivational. Y'all, you could be someone that like watching, um, uh, like, what, what? Oh my God. Like morning routine shit, like productive morning routine. That's me. That's my thing. Okay. I, I, I watch a reading, you know, every once in a while, but I don't just consume and sit and watch readings every day. Like I'm really active in my life. I'm really in a gym here with my life. You know what I'm saying? And you are being guided just to start to consume. Like, even if you watch a lot of tarot, try to watch readers that are uplifting you, encouraging you. Um, and not just readers that are just talking about karmic ass shit that's just going to have you in your head or that's just not serving you any type of way. A lot of you are very, are high priestess and you're very uh, gifted your own soul. So a lot of this shit, these readers be saying, you already know. OK, you already know. I'm not saying, you know, because I pick up on karmic shit uh, on my channel. Yeah, I pick up on karmic shit. But one thing I can stand on and I, I know my day ones know, even if I do pick up on a karmic mother or the government or motherfuckers trying to kill you, you always going to click off that video feeling empowered, unstoppable and like can't shit touch you or move you. That's just my vibe, okay? I could talk about karmic shit, but I'm also going to reassure you that you, as the chosen one, it, this ain't going to have no effect on you. You're untouchable. You're unstoppable. Sometimes it's just, you know, spirit just be wanting you to know shit, you know? And so I'm not saying, like, readers that pick up on karmic shit, all of them are bad or whatever, because I, I, I don't even watch. I, it's, I don't watch tarot like that, bro. I be really watching motivational, productive content that's feeding my brain. But just uh, like just try to like surround your yourself and with media and content that matches with what you are manifesting, uplifting content, motivational, encouraging. All right. Um, Watching things that's going to teach you and feed your brain here is what I'm saying. So let's tap in. I've been talking, y'all, I've been talking for 30 damn minutes. I probably, let's, uh, actually, I'm going to start with the moonology there. Okay. But yeah, that's the vibes here. It's like, I be, when I try to watch certain shit, certain tarot videos, I always click off, bro. It's like, to be honest with y'all, and I don't know ego shit, I watch my own self more than I watch other <laughs> other readers. I be watching me, bro. I be like, damn, I be dropping gems. Okay, Ash, I see you, big baby. <laughs> I be watching myself. Like, y'all, I ain't gonna jack. Last night, I watched like three of my latest uploads. I just, I don't know. I, and I like watching myself too, cause I when I when I watch myself, when I listen to myself, I get more even more downloads. Like damn, like I just got a download from when I said this type shit. Three 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 three. I just seen. Okay, let's get some energy from the Moon Allergy deck. But that's definitely the vibes. You really have to think like a boss. You really have to move like a boss. A lot of you are destined multi-millionaires and billionaires. You have to move this way. You have to think this way. You have to incorporate certain habits and things in your reality. All right? This is who you are. This is who God has been cultivating you to be this whole time. So let's get some energy spirit. Whoa. Damn. Your commitment is being tested. <laughs> You're being tested at this time. Do you really want this? Be bold and make the first move. I can't make this up. A lot of you are sitting on million dollar ideas. God gave you these gifts and abilities for a reason. All right. If God is uh, your spirit, guys, the most high is calling for you to take some type of action on some type of project. So you've been procrastinating 
uh, you could be a procrastinator, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. I proc- it's like I'm a pro- I call myself a productive procrastinator because even though I procrastinate, I might procrastinate, but I still be getting shit done. But it's still, you know, not healthy or whatever. But you know, you're being guided to take to take action on some type of goal, some type of project because your your commitment to this is fantastic. Your commitment to this project, your commitment to your soul's purpose. You are always being tested, okay? You are being tested on your, your like, are you ready to tap, step into this position? Are you ready to lead this legacy, this empire? Are you ready to teach and lead humanity? Are you? Okay? It's a need for you to say, you could be an Aries here, all right? It's a need for you to be bold. Take the first action. Be aggressive and bold when it comes to going after your dreams and going after what you desire, because you are a limitless being. You have no limits. Everything you want, everything you want to achieve is within arm's reach, I'm getting. Let's get one more from this bit. Okay. Expect powerful change. You are here to guide others, to lead humanity into a powerful change, a powerful shift, okay? And this is why God has chosen you for such a position because you have had a powerful shift and a powerful change within yourself. You have been, like like your soul has reincarnated enough and, and learned from different experiences to be able to guide and assist others on a soul's journey, on a soul's path. Okay, uh, the new moon is highly significant here. All right, but I, I'm getting like you're that as you been chosen. All right, to be this figure. All right, and you being this very intellect, like a, a intellect, a teacher. You're here to cause. You're causing a powerful shift and a major change, all because you shifted within yourself. Okay, beautiful. We have blocks here, all right? You may, It may have been some people like that you used to watch, content creators you used to watch. It don't even have to be tarot. It could be like just you being on Facebook, Instagram, or just on YouTube watching different content. You may have unsubscribed or blocked certain individuals because it's certain content you was watching. It's certain people you was watching you felt was draining your energy because it's always karmic shit. It's never nothing motivational. It's never nothing positive. It's never nothing uplifting you and encouraging you. It's always some shit that's draining you. Some shit you probably already know. Why do you need to be, like, why do you need to keep, like, listening to the same shit when you already know? It's a time for you to switch, to, 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 uh, to shift, okay? And to feed your mind with success, wealth, prosperity, it's a need for someone here. It's a cancer here. It's a need for someone here to start to study the laws of physics, the laws of the youth of traction, the laws of vibration is what I'm getting. Of someone here, you have been studying that and it, you have been learning so much, okay? It's like you're a sponge. You're never too good to, to um, continue your education and learning about the universe and different things. I mean, when you're a teacher, learning never stops because you are here to relay what you have learned. The truth you speak in free and souls. I'm getting on like, dude, so right here, you, this is your a part of your life purpose is, is to really be a motivational speaker. So I right hear you're being guided to listen. Like I said, listen to more motivational content, motivational speakers. Okay, when you listen to things that encourage you and uplift you, it literally frees your soul here. Someone here, you are a public speaker. You're on some type of public platform. You're speaking your truth and you're freeing souls here. You could be speaking on a corrupt preacher. All right, you could be exposing corruption and religion for someone here. For someone here, that's a part of your purpose. You dealt with, you could have had a corrupt preacher as a mom or a dad or a grandpa or something. And you're speaking out on that. You're here to expose the corruption in religion. Okay. And this, this is going to help to free souls. You are free in souls. All right. It could be someone online that you watch that you have noticed is very corrupt. This could be someone 
that um, portrays themselves to be a preacher or online preacher or some shit like that. But it's like you're starting to see through shit. All right. You're starting to see through. Thank you, spirit. Corruption. You're getting confirmation on shit. Trust, trust what you are feeling here. Bro, then I just say I got the consciousness of thoughts connected to the Emerald Tablets here. Yeah, the Emerald, Emerald, tablet, Emerald Tablets are it, it's the secrets of the universe and immortality. Thoughts, energy. You could be someone like myself. You could be an author, a writer. You naturally write. You're a poet because you got the consciousness of thought. And that's what thought does. Thoth has the ability, and this is what he do. He pushed his consciousness and different chosen ones in order for us to um, tap into the Emerald Tablets and the, the secrets of the universe to relay the messages of the Emerald Tablets. All right, someone, you're high, you, yo, birthstone could be emerald green. It's highly significant, okay? Someone here, you're very, you're connected to thought. You're, I'm picking up on a writer. You, you could be a songwriter, a poet. You write. This is your gift. 2020. You could have wrote something in 2020. Wrote a song or a play. You could be a screenplay, a screenwriter or something like that. Gemini here. Geminis are very intellectual. Like I said, air sign energy, sharp, sharp mind. It's a Gemini here. You have a very sharp mind. And it often baffles people and shock them when they learn how truly intellectual and intelligent you are. You could be a Gemini here. You love to read. You're reading a book now. You just finished some type of book. You could be someone like myself, like you log and document the books you've read with the authors, okay? I'm getting an author here. A Leo is highly significant. We have sacral chakra, okay? Sacral, yeah, Sacral chakra. The sacral chakra is, is is the energy of creativity, the energy of sensuality, the energy of creating. Is it deals with intuition? It deals with uh, emotions as well. Okay, so a water sign is highly significant. You may be guided to stimulate your sacral chakra because it's connected to your creativity, creation. Okay. You may be healing your wound or you're doing wound healing or someone here, you're doing, you're focused on gut health. Yeah, like you're healing your gut. You may be doing a juice cleanse or a juice fast. You may be working with orange crystals. Someone here, your favorite fruit is oranges. You may, it may be an orange tree, highly significant, or you, you love to plant fruit like, um, you may have a fruit tree, something about a fruit tree, an orange tree. Some, someone loves citrus, like you a citrus person. Carrots are highly significant. Like, like I said, you are truly gifted. You are truly gifted. Okay. You are truly gifted. You've been gifted with this, uh, with this millionaire, trillionaire mindset. You've been gifted with infinite intelligence, which is going to bring you infinite abundance. You're truly gifted. This is why God chose you to lead humanity and your ancestors told, chose you to lead the legacy. So that's crazy because I was just, when I seen sacral, I was just thinking about solar, solar plexus, okay? So like I said, orange and yellow, citrusy, it could be a lemon tree, an orange tree, highly significant, Okay. You may be working with citrine at this time, or you may be guided to stimulate your solar plexus, the color yellow. This could be your favorite color. The color yellow is highly significant here, okay? You could be learning more about chakras. I know uh, you guys know I am, I'm working on my first ebook um, called Chakra Awakening, and I'm so excited. I actually had to work on it today. I be, the, That's why it's so important to focus on one project, y'all, because I'll be everywhere. I got I be doing this, doing that, doing that. Then I got to upload for my divine ones. You know, I got to go to the gym. I got to, y'all, I, I need a assistant. I be feeling like I need help, bro, because <laughs> I be putting all this, but in a, a good way. It's a good way to me. I love staying busy. I love being productive. You're someone the same way, okay? 
That's too many spirits. I just seen journaling. You could be a journalist. You're doing a lot of journaling at this time. A lot of writing. Girl, I'm picking up on a writer. You love, you always love to write. Damn, bro, all these chakras. So I hear you may have a podcast about chakras. Okay, you may even be writing a book about chakras too. You may have written a blog about chakras or you're learning more about each chakras and their functions. Okay, They're the type of energy each chakra possess. All right, your third eye is, is, is wide open. Okay, golden child energy. Yeah, heiress of the throne. Your ancestors are very amazed. Your ancestors are very proud of you because you are leading a legacy like no other. Nothing they do will ever destroy you. You have people that try to destroy your your chakras, that try to cause an instability and an imbalance to your chakras, okay? Um, it's a lot of people that try to block your third eye chakra too. So you, cause people know you tap into the cosmos and people didn't want you. Cause you like me, you receive powerful ass downloads like no other bro. Like I said, people don't think like us, real chosen ones, real people that have the thought consciousness, like souls that have the thought consciousness. And that's like on this millionaire that have like this, this, uh, very sharp intellects, real, very sharp intellects. People don't think like this. What other person you know ever even did a reading like this before, bro? I, I don't know. I never see no reader do no, uh, like I don't even, I resonate myself more with an intellect that spread my knowledge and wisdom using cards. <laughs> We have crossroads. I can't make this up. My, you all your life, people try to cause an instability, an imbalance to your chakras, so you wouldn't reach enlightenment. You boss the fuck up, and the haters can't take it. Like I said, you are designed to be a boss. This is who God created you to be. Nature is highly significant. Okay, you may be tapping in, learning more about um, like magic. I'm getting magic, like earth magic. You're learning more about using the different elements to manifest for someone here. I'm getting botany. Something about botany. You could be a botanist. <laughs> Bro, I, re I remember. I was like four years old learning about shit like that. You speak truth. I can't make this up. Yo, throw chakra lit. This why I, you got motherfuckers really trying to block. It's something about causing a blockage to your chakras because you're speaking a lot of truth. You're freeing a lot of souls. You're being guided more towards content that's going to uplift you and that's going to motivate and encourage you to speak your truth, stand in your truth. Okay. We're going to get a few more, y'all. We have adventuring. You're working with green is highly significant here. Green is very significant here. You're working with someone, you may have an adventuring crystal jewelry, like necklace or bracelet or something. You could be a crystal jewelry, jewelry maker. This is something that God, this is a God-given natural gift or ability God gave you to generate wealth. Spirits here, like I said, somewhere here, you're, uh, is your, you have like a very cosmic imagination, Okay. With these gifts, you have you are, have always been gifted co to connect with the other side, okay? And this is and God is are pushing you to uh, tap into this and stop sitting on your gifts, stop sitting on your abilities, sitting on these abilities, these ideas, stop sleeping on yourself. Is what I'm saying. Let's get a few more messages. We gonna get some final messages, y'all. I'm gonna get some final messages from the Moon Knowledge of that. Then we gonna tap out. I gotta go to the gym. See, look at me. Y'all already naming shit I got to do, bro. I just love being busy. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I swear that I love it. It's time to release negativity. Bro, what I just say? It's time to consume more positive content, positive media, uplifting, motivational productivity, because it has an effect on your manifestations and your reality. You have to vibrate and... um. 
consume things that's on a high vibrational frequency. So if you have been guided and urged to stop watching certain people or stop consuming certain content or to unfriend certain people on Facebook or Instagram, do that. Do that. Your 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 mentality is on a whole different vibration. It's certain shit that show man your soul, your intellect, your mentality will push away because you on a whole different frequency, and you were literally designed to to be this uh, uh, spiritual intellect as you are, my baby. I love you guys. Till the next video. Bye.